Hi, we're Evergreen Terrace, and you're watching Alex Jones. Pt. We're here with uh, Andrew and Craig from uh, Evergreen Terrace. Um, what was the show like? Oh, tonight? It was a surprise. There was like 10 kids wearing Evergreen shirts singing along to every song. And my mind was blown. We'd never played here before. So. Which is great for the amazing. great for the first time that we've uh, actually played Portugal. So it was great. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. <laughs> You've toured with bands like uh, Terror, War in Flames, As I Lay Dying, and I made a little list, you know, Throw Down, Zao. So these are all pretty. <laughs> Zao, what, what, how do you call it? Zao. Zao, I'm sorry, Zao. That's yeah, it's funny. It's funny. We it's always, funny we always say that, though. <laughs> we, always, we used to always say Zao uh, long, like five or six years ago, but they played Florida, and we would just heckle them by going, Zao, 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 Zao. But it's actually Zao. Because of like Tao and stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it You must feel pretty good about you know touring with you know all the all the time with you know with yeah. cool bands. Like. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Especially on this tour, you we get to tour with Agnostic Front, you know, a band that's been around for forever, legends, you know. Uh, I just interviewed the, them; they're awesome. Yeah, yeah, they're great. Before I even before we were even in a band, I was even thinking about starting a hardcore band or any kind of band. It was uh, I you know saw them play in in my hometown and. Absolutely loved it and enjoyed it very much. It was very one of the reasons why I got into hardcore. And it's also awesome to be on tour with other bands who are great. You know, not you know not as not, not as quite as legendary as AF, but you know, working their way up to become one of those you know legendary bands. And there's, there's like Bane yeah. and you know, definitely you know Terror. You know, Azalea Dying is huge. You know, and they're just it's it's always always awesome, always a pleasure, and it's it's great to get to know those guys and actually become friends with them. We just did a like a seven week tour with Strung Out in the yeah. States as our second tour with them. We already so we already knew them, and then and this tour was just like it was yeah. seriously the best tour we've ever done as far as like as far as the fun factor. You know, we do a lot of tours, obviously, and then, you know you, you befriend bands. It's like Bane, like super bands. You you would you're just like you're on tour with them and you're like starstruck you know what I mean like you know and you're like wow this is crazy and then and next thing you know they're like your your best friends and they invited us to play their 10 year anniversary show and she's like, well, like the bands you like the most are the ones you get along the better don't you agree yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's weird. kinda yeah <laughs> you guys feel like with Wolfbiker are you getting you know heavier we uh like our first couple records were really really dynamic and really like almost experimental in weird ways, you know what I mean? And then we put out the uh, Sincerity, which is our the record for Wolfbiker. We just kind of just put out a record that was like bam, 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 bam. Every song was in your face. It wasn't as, it wasn't as dynamic and as epic. In this record with Wolfbiker, we just kind of got it all back together and we combined uh, our first record, Losing All Hope, then uh, Burn Alive by Time, and then uh, even elements of the stuff we were trying on Writer's Block, the cover record, we still tried some cool stuff, you know, and just smashed all the records together, and that's what Wolfbiker is. It's like, we were like, this part sucks, this part sucks, this part sucks. That's cool, that's cool. Yeah, that, that's something cool. like that, you know? So we put, a, you know, a whole lot of effort in this record. Everybody had great, Jason had great input, you had great input, Josh had great input. It was awesome. You had great input. If you want to, want me to say it, Kyle, Kyle just wrote drums. That's all. Kyle didn't do shit. Yeah, he Butters just, just he just played drums. Butters did. He did. Right. He yeah. He definitely had a lot of input on this record. Really? What did he do? 
like as far as a guitar, like he, he would like try stuff. He would take my guitar from me and be like, kind of like this, and I'd be like, I think we're talking. Ooh. <laughs> Cheney can't quite riff like Helmut Spitch Hamilton. I assume this is true because of Paige Hamilton being Paige Hamilton. <laughs> but uh, um, how did this come about? You know, the song seems to have like. <laughs> Please. <laughs> is just like you know no, it seems to totally ama totally amazing and uh, seems to have nothing with, to do with the song Hamilton's a badass I'm not <laughs> well I'm a bad guy I'm a bad guy it's that's different what, yeah that's what happened <laughs> uh, actually it, it was um, this magazine put out a review of our record and it was just really funny the shit that they said in the review so we just kind of quoted it was a major publication they gave us a good review but it was the number but then the actual Right. Yeah, he actually write up was like, what the it's fuck? A, it, the, the title of the song was taken out of a write up from a review. Yeah. It said, to quote, Dick, Dick Cheney. Dick Cheney. <laughs> Dick Cheney can't quite. <laughs> Serious question now, like a, a last one. You, you don't have to be serious, you don't want. But, um. <laughs> Do you guys sense a difference between European and American t musical tastes? I think kids over here stay involved in hardcore longer. They'll follow bands for through like throughout the band's entire career instead of being like, oh, like flavor of the month. Like this band's cool now, but I don't like this kind of hard. You know, Se it seems like they're in it more for the the music and uh, rather than the trend or the fashions or anything that comes along with it. They're into the what the belief or ideal of what hardcore is and so it's really it's really it's awesome it's nice to see that <laughs> I love Europe. I like Portugal too. It's very nice. I was walking by myself earlier and I saw a few geese and I go, and I said out loud, I go, Portuguese. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> 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 <laughs>